Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off the dishwasher's water supply underneath the sink. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Whirlpool dishwasher circulation pump. It's going to be a very easy repair and it's only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new circulation pump. The circulation pump circulates the water through the dishwasher. The main reason you'd be changing it out is if the impeller or the motor has failed and your dishes aren't getting clean, or the body is cracked and you're getting water leaking on the floor. In order to change the part, we have to pull the dishwasher out. First thing we're going to do is go underneath the sink and disconnect the lines. Now that we're underneath the cabinets, you want to make sure that the dishwasher is still unplugged and you may want to throw a towel down. When we take off the fill line and the drain hose, there's going to be some water that comes out. First we're going to disconnect the fill line. It's connected right here to the hot water valve. You want to make sure the water valve is off. And then we're going to use our 5 8 inch wrench to loosen up the hose. Once you have it broke free, you can just reach in and unscrew it by hand. Once you have it off, you can just set it down and then we can take off the drain hose. To take the drain hose off, you just want to follow it up to wherever it goes. It may go to the garbage disposal. Ours goes up to the air gap. Once you locate the end of it, we're going to take a 5 16 nut driver and loosen up the clamp. Once you have the clamp loose, you can pull it free and set it down. Now that we have the lines disconnected, we're going to open up the dishwasher door and pull the rack out so we can set it aside. All you have to do is reach in and grab it and lift it off the door. Once you have the dish rack out, we're going to use a Phillips screwdriver to take out the screws that hold the dishwasher to the countertop. Once you have the screws out, we're going to lift up on the door and use it to carefully pull the dishwasher out a little bit. Once you have it out far enough, you can just grab the frame and pull it out the rest of the way. Once you have it out far enough, we're going to put a towel down so we don't damage the floor while we lay the dishwasher on its back. Once you have the towel down, we're just going to carefully lay the dishwasher on its back. Now that we have the dishwasher on its back, we have access to the circulation pump. It's located down here on the bottom of the sump. We're going to put a towel down to catch any water that may come out. Then we're going to remove the wire harness. There's a little locking tab that holds it in. So you just want to reach in with a small flathead screwdriver and release it. Then we're going to follow this wire around to the back of the circulation pump because it hooks in up here. We're just going to have to unhook it and pull it out. Now we have to remove the clamp that holds the hose onto the sump. The manufacturer used these type of non-reusable clamps. So we're just going to reach in with a small flathead screwdriver and get in here and bend this so we can loosen it up and get it off. If you have to, you can use a small flathead screwdriver to help break the hose free. Once you have it loosened up, you can pull it down. Once you have it free, you can pull it off the dishwasher. Here's the old circulation pump next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. Because the manufacturer uses these special clamps that need to be crimped on there, and most people don't have that tool, we're just going to take this clamp off and replace it with a standard clamp. And you want to make sure that the head is facing the right way so when it's on the dishwasher you can reach up in there and tighten it down and you may have to get a narrow band clamp to make sure it fits in the groove on the hose. Once you have the clamp in place we can put it in the dishwasher. Before you put the circulation pump in you want to get the fittings wet with a little bit of water because the rubber and the plastic sometimes don't want to slide too much. And then do the same thing on the circulation pump itself. 
Now we can lift the circulation pump up into place. Just want to make sure that the hook here goes into the mount. And we can lift it up into place and put the hoses on. Make sure you get it seated all the way into the sump. And then once you have it in place, we can use the driver to tighten down the clamp that holds it to the sump. On our clamp, it's a seven millimeter nut. So we're just gonna use the seven millimeter nut driver to tighten it down. Once you have a clamp tight, we can put the wire harness in. Now we can hook the wire through the holder. Just have to grab it, route it through. Once you have it in, we can plug it into the pump. All you have to do is line it up and plug it in. Make sure it snaps in so you get a good connection. Now that you have the part installed, we can put the dishwasher back up on its feet. I'm just going to carefully put the dishwasher back on its feet and pull the towel out. Then we can push the dishwasher back in. Now we have to reach underneath and put the line through the cabinets. We want to push the dishwasher in about halfway. Then we can go underneath the sink and pull on the lines to make sure they're not caught on anything. Then we can push the dishwasher in the rest of the way. Now we can reconnect the drain hose to the air gap. Once you have it pushed up into place, we're going to use our 5 16 inch nut driver to tighten down the clamp. Once you have the drain line hooked up, we can hook up the water line. All you have to do is get it started by hand. Once you have it snug, we can reach in with our 5 8 inch wrench to tighten it down so it doesn't leak. Now that we have the lines reconnected, we're going to open up the dishwasher door and use the Phillips screwdriver to put in the screws to hold the dishwasher to the countertop. Now that we have the screws in, we can put the lower rack back in. Just set it on the door and push it back into place. Once you have it in, you can close the door. Then we can plug it back in, turn the water back on, and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.